All right, so it's good to know that um, every day is a new day for a lot of people, y'all. I'm going to just touch bases on what I came to touch bases on, and then y'all already know the rest, right? No. <sighs> And I was just thinking about how CP just reached out to this individual center or something, you know, and it's like, you can't do anything nice for people, man. They still come back like, you know, trying to, I don't even know, whatever. Okay. You can't even try to help them out no more. It ain't no more help there. That's the thing. But Hey, you still try though, I suppose. Now, see, I want a lot of people to understand it's never about me winning this $500, none of that. All it is is about the principle. If I told the people, right, that I was doing a contest and I'm going to give away this or that, it needs to be this or that, and it needs to be done accurately, right? So that's what it's about. It's you, you always sit there and you try to justify any and everything. You don't even know what you're justifying it for. You're just doing it. Now... Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I woke up with a new day, you know, well, of course, somebody can't let me just chill, man, they like, hey, man, I need to distract her, I need her to address me, so I want people to think that people to twice to me to talk to her, <laughs> but it's all good, man, y'all keep doing your thing, I hope, hopefully in the not too near future, it pays off for you, that's all I can, you know, assume or whatever, what, whatever, all right, cool, now, See, I'm going to always go back to this because, you know, you know that you lied about the contest. But see, I, I was trying to wonder why you don't want the people to know that you are Tasha Harris. Well, come to think about it, you've actually disrespected so many people in that account. You disrespected, like, some of your own accounts <laughs> to the point where... You disrespected other people. You even went as far as to disrespect and fraud news in that account. You remember when you was over there with Stutter? Come on, man. Don't act crazy, man. Don't, don't be playing a fuck out of crazy. How's that? You know what I'm saying? All right. Now, first of all, let's go ahead and look at these um, different bodies, ladies and gentlemen, that was a part of the contest. Now, clearly, if, if I joined a contest... Even if I sent you three different pictures, they all are going to look like me, right? All right, then. That's what I'm saying. So here's what I need the people to start doing and quit acting so fucking dumb, all right? I don't fuck with you people like that, you know? So for me, you know, to not be welcome to people chats, I don't give a fuck. Shit, I'm the reason that I probably can't go over in that bitch. You think I care? Man, quit, quit, and quit bringing up stupid shit, all right? Could you do that? Do you even? I, you know what? I forget who the fuck I'm talking to. Man. You know what? We trying to get these motherfuckers too much benefit of the doubt. That's the problem. You know, too much benefit of the doubt. Y'all are mad because the people are starting to wake up and realize that all of y'all been working together the whole nine yards. So when you hear a nigga like Rob over there preaching the same shit I've been talking about, well, hey, don't get mad at me for that shit, man. At some point, everybody got to say, hey. This shit is old news, man. Like, we got to do something better, man. How come these people that got four or 500 subscribers, y'all, ain't even starting their own platforms? But they're trying to go around to make everybody else look credible, man. Why they not trying to... <sighs> Never mind. Just forget it. Never mind. Let's take a look, ladies and gentlemen, at Freddy Krueger. That's the first picture we're going to look at because... According to her, this is supposed to be Tasha Harris. So let's take a look at her first. Let's go ahead and take a look at Freddy Krueger. And we're just going to, you know, judge the shape. You know, we're going to look at the shape and see if we can bring all these different shapes together to make uh, something that makes sense. It's what, you know, help me out, y'all. Help me out. Finish my sentences. You motherfuckers do it anyway. So go ahead and feel free. All right. So let's take a look at Freddy Krueger. Yeah, this is Freddy Krueger. You know, remember Freddy Krueger with the hat. <laughs> Let's just, we focus in on the shape, ladies and gentlemen. We're focusing on the shape. Now, 
<sighs> Let's take a look at the stocky one. Now, clearly, uh, Freddy Krueger looks to be about five, about five, six, seven, maybe somewhere up in there, about five, seven. All right, she got a little juggler there, seems like a little pudge or something like that, right? All right, cool. Now let's take a look at uh, Stocky. Oh no, we'll look at you in a minute. Let's go, let's go look at Stocky. I think this is Stocky right here. Yeah, here, here we go. We got Stocky. And the, the beauty about Stocky, her face ain't even uniquely identifiable. <laughs> but let's just take a look for, at these two for a second, ladies and gentlemen. So she over there like addressing me like her shit was squared away. No, it wasn't. It's too many discrepancies in your contest, especially with the bodies. <laughs> with the bodies. Yeah, because you decided. Now, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, let's ask yourselves this. Bermuda contest. I'm going back to the basics. I am. For the Bermuda contest, it was supposed to be about shorts. Now, this individual tried to say, oh, I can't. My ankle is screwed up. It's, it's just like the knee issue the other one is having, but whatever. All right, so what I'm saying is it was supposed to have been shorts. Even so, why did you give a whole picture? And why was it a mouse on there? I don't even know. But anyway, let's just, you know, cut this part off right here. Let's cut this part off right here because it was supposed to be some shorts anyway. Let's cut this part off. Now, it was a Bermuda contest. What did you... What were you doing with so many different pictures, for, first of all? What were you doing with so many different pictures, first of all, right? Now, when they had an issue in the beginning, okay, it was more so about the comparison and the cuts, all right? Because I brought up this picture, all right? Let's look at this picture, all right? The infamous uh, <laughs> Dirty Coogee shirt. Now... You could tell that this is one of the people. She's an opportunist. I've been telling y'all the same person that won her contest. You could tell that she didn't know what she was doing, but she wanted to partake in the contest by any means necessary. It's one of those situations. Y'all, we already know that these ain't the same fucking pants or whatever. But when you look at her, the shape, all right, and you look at this shape, these are not even the same shapes. That's not even the same shape. This one looked like she got some wider hips. Even from like, if you watch this video, the actual video, this is a screenshot here. If you watch the video and watch her walking towards that swing to give somebody's kid a push, we can tell that these are not the same bodies. And then when we go over to the stocky person, how in the world are all these the same person? How in the world, right? Y'all got to start asking yourselves real questions, man. I know I'm not delusional. I don't, like I told you guys, I don't need medications to, to you know, survive, man. I'm, I'm normal over here, man. I know what I'm saying. And what I'm saying is not legit. All right. Now, my question to the people is, you know, because I heard False Seeker say something about you want to be trying to save every, say the people or something like that. And I'm just like, what? I mean, during the phone call that I played of yours, you said you wanted to know who was honest with you, right? So why do y'all go back and forth on yourself, man? Why are y'all doubting y'all self? I don't know what type of people like most of you guys want to be, man. This shit is so sad. And what I'm saying is there are some discrepancies in this contest with this person and the body. That's what I'm saying. All right. This is a stocky lady. This is Ugmo in my allegation. And then this is that lady. So, hey, whatever y'all say, man. Y'all know it's about the principle. So quit acting all stupid all the time, man. Y'all be acting like y'all ain't got no goddamn sense. So anyway, what else we got over here? Let's take a look at Tasha Harris, because I was just talking about she disrespected so many people. And I just want to take a, you know, look at some of her own accounts that she disrespected. <laughs> hey, they call anybody delusional, man. I guess we all get a turn, right? 
they call everybody some type of names, man. This stuff be crazy, man. I just be wondering, like, what they doing, I guess. That bitch delusional. Fuck Angle. <laughs> but you sent to allegedly 10 fake dollars. You feel me? So how is it fuck, fuck Angle when y'all trying to start y'all a autism uh, community? Then y'all trying to start a lupus community? Y'all trying to prey on the... Man, y'all are trying to prey on the wrong type of people, man. Understand that people with mental issues and people that don't have them does not mix. And if they do, that's because they're family. Not because they met on FooTube or Facebook or Instagram and all these other shits y'all fuck with. No. It's not the case, man. You know. Thank God she was Hello Kitty at the time. Uh, let's see what is this. Oh. Oh, okay. We can take a look at this. Why not? Why not? Hmm. Hmm. You know, <laughs> yeah, the infamous $500, ladies and gentlemen. You got to ask yourself, right? people win some how was you over here in this person's channel if nobody even knew you you said you left but then nobody knew you so you going to bragging in someone else's channel hmm you forever grateful of her but all of a sudden y'all done flipped the flip the script huh? just like this flip the script like this she helped people and she was a blessing. <laughs> this is a promotion, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, I don't know when people promote themselves, man. It's just like mouthful of spit going over there telling Daffy Duck with a motherfucking beak shot off. On her her panel t telling some, stop it. I do more. <laughs> a promotion, man. That's sad, man, what y'all do, man. For y'all not to be broke, why y'all acting broke then? That's what I don't get. And for the record, I get to watch who the fuck I want to watch, man. Motherfuckers will never tell me, stop watching me. No, bitch, listen, nigga, whoever, I'm going to stop watching you when I get ready. Not because a bitch or a nigga told me, man. Listen, I do what I want to do. And furthermore, you went as far as to saying something about someone getting on my panel addressing something. I don't give a fuck what they get up here to talk about. And it ain't for me to tell them not to talk about unless I want to tell them that. But when it's anything pertaining to you motherfuckers, I don't give a fuck what they say, whether it's true or false. You motherfuckers do the shit all the time. So what's the problem, man? Y'all need to quit tweaking, man, or something. Something going on with y'all. Yes, won't he do it? Oh, yeah, sure he will. <laughs> sure he will what else over here oh bell pepper nose well hairy hairy or something like that i'll go in and edit your little uh you know since you think you so much of a hot commodity i'll go ahead and edit that little logo crap out or whatever yeah i've been learning how to enhance shit you know motherfuckers, i didn't learn how to do premieres and shit motherfuckers want to copy off the premieres <laughs> Hey, but do your thing, man. Listen, let me tell y'all something, all right? All y'all supposed to be winning. You feel me? All of y'all, y'all got the following. Y'all got y'all little subscribers. Y'all got that, man. Do y'all thing, man. I'm still going to do me. You feel me? Like, I'm going to still do me, man. You know? I don't need a lot of y'all assistance. And y'all keep thinking like I do. I mean, why don't y'all explain why y'all sent some of y'all fucking accounts over here trying to be cordial with me, but I had to dismiss they ass, man. I showed they as the nearest exit. <laughs> see, I'm not like y'all, man. And I thought you motherfuckers was learning something. But I see it's, it's not about the learning. It's about copying. Copying is better than learning. I get it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at Bell Pepper Nose. Bell Pepper Nose on here. I told you guys, they all been working together. And this was a, some time ago, y'all. Even though I say an hour ago, went in there and edited out and got some shit together, whatever the case was. I'm not here to bash Donna Karen. Are you sure? I simply asked Stutter what happened. <laughs> they go back and forth with each other, man, just for nothing. They just do like the most. Win her own money. What's this? 
Oh, now, now, now here, I want to take a look at this because, you know, according to the panel that she did with the alleged Tasha Harris, ladies and gentlemen, she said she was a supporter of Brother Malcolm. Am I right? Hmm? What are naysayers, man? Am I right? So when they were over here in this, this chat talking, okay, y'all see what that top line say. Who talks like that? That way, that part, that way, that part, that part, that way. <laughs> Fuck her. Fuck her. I don't have to explain anything. Fuck her. And what did I tell you guys? Why is it fuck Rob? Because of what Rob did. And what have I told you about this individual? She is out for revenge constantly. And this is what fucks her up right here. Looking for that revenge. When you said that I would put my kids in a microwave, it took me almost over about close to a month to after a month to even address you. And guess who I addressed? I addressed her on Bell Pepper's fucking channel, y'all. They wanted me to go berserk, but man, it wasn't necessary. It was like, bro, I know what I wouldn't do. And that ain't something that I would do, y'all. Y'all be crazy out here. But anyway, what I'm saying is focus on the fact that this is supposed to be Tasha Harris saying, fuck her, fuck Rob, and fuck them hoes over there that way. Well, keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, she did think that she had a badge and a fucking gun. Pow, pow! Who you want me to get today, uh, Sergeant uh, Rob? Who do you need me to get, L Lieutenant Rob? Master Rob, who who today? You want me to go get? Okay, I got him. I got him. Now, that lady that was on the phone conversation on the panel, I just don't understand. I mean, I just want a contest. I mean, I just seen that Ugma was having it, and I went over there, and God said, um, Bexie, you're going to win, and I won, and she picked me as the winner. I mean, all I know is she told me I'm the winner. <laughs> Fuck her. Fuck Rob and fuck them hoes over there that way. Who talks like that? See, and this is what I'm talking about, right? That it don't matter what account you call yourself being a part of, you're going to tell on yourself some type of way because you want them to know that that's you, but you don't want them to believe that that is you. Like, okay, so tell me this then. Why would that lady, okay, why would that lady know anything about sassy, rare breed, I believe, and uh, great goose? Sassy, are you and Grey Goose the same person? I'm asking for a friend. It didn't even spell friend right, y'all. Who y'all know can't even spell friend right, even have in her titles where she didn't even spell friend right. Even on one of the damn Amazon shits, she didn't even spell friend right. This is her. What? It, you know what, man? Why y'all acting so clueless, man? Why y'all acting so clueless, man? Why would that lady in the backseat that don't know nobody no great goose or assassin. She wasn't asking for a friend. She was asking for herself because somewhere along the lines, she was also like, oh, because um, Ugmo did a video and she got a strike. Like, what, are you, what is it your business? What is it your business? You just want a contest. What the fuck are you doing over here? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, anyway, let's go back to this. Fuck her, fuck Rob, and fuck them hoes over there that way because I not have my badge or my gun no more. Pow, pow. You know, that's that's just how it went. <laughs> that's how the shit went. She just too busy, you know, trying to get revenge where she need to leave shit the fuck alone. That's all she need to do, but she don't know how to do that. Oh, wait a minute. Hold oh, up. Oh, and here's my last picture. Hold up. Here's my last picture, and then I'm going to get out of here, y'all. I got to get get up out of here this wait hold on a second hold on a second hold on a second All right, cool. Now, let me get back to my last screenshot real quick. 
Yeah, because I want to show this old nasty ass room. <clears throat> Somebody to say that they got their shit together, allegedly. <laughs> now, let's take a look at this room real quick, man. You know, let's take a look at somebody that talking about they nails dirty as fuck from a garden, but <laughs> people that work in gardens wear gloves. <laughs> well, I guess they might be too expensive for some, but whatever. All right, now, let's take a look at this. This is the, the room that she's opening up her prizes. <laughs> awesome prizes. <laughs> now, first of all... See, you were so desperate that day that you didn't think that somebody would, you know, catch this right here. You know, like y'all did you record my shit. I don't. But you ain't gonna catch this type of shit on my shit, though. You ain't gonna catch that. <laughs> this, this is some pure filth right here. You know, I just want to say, what do you have to say for yourself other than blaming some type of dog for this type of disaster? You know, like the walls, they already look like, you know... The same walls Tasha Harris was by, but whatever. But what I'm saying is, what do you have to say about yourself? This is how you live, right? But you got the nerve to call CPS on people. But don't you have your grandson in this same trailer? Right? Don't you? I'm just saying, don't you have your son in this pure filth? I'll tell you what. It's supposed to be flipping upside down anyway. So why don't you t show the people what your room looked like in today's day? Since you were so eager to open up gifts and shit. You know, why don't you show them? Do you still got this old shit right here? Huh? Because you would throw this shit in the garbage. I'm just saying. You would throw this. I would, if I were you, I'd throw that shit in the garbage. Because that probably got dust mites, bed bugs. I, you know, I'm just saying. If you keep old shit like that. Let me see. Yeah, that look. Yeah, that look. Yeah, that look bad. It's almost worse than that picture or that video that you tried to do with your nephew when you was cutting his hair with that nasty ass towel, but I don't know. It could be like a tattoo because that towel was nasty as fuck too. And you couldn't even pay $10 just to get your nephew a haircut. That shit was crazy. But I don't know. That's just what y'all do, man. You know, motherfuckers come through and shit. Don't say shit. Y'all motherfuckers got videos coming out. And you still talking about some shit that I'm like, bro, it's about the principles. You ever going to tell the people the truth? Like, yeah, well, I didn't mean to create that account. Like, you just still over there deflecting. Like, that's what you do, though. But ain't nobody, oh, we wub you. We wub you like your name say. <laughs> we wub you like your name say. Yes, ain't nobody's fault. You know what? Let me see. What is this? Understood, but... Let me see something. I got something else over in this motherfucker because some of that shit started over here. So let me see what else I got. I wonder if I got that screenshot where, and I think I do. Oh, yeah, because I already showed y'all this one. When now, now, okay, so let me go back to this then real quick. All right. And I just want to know, I want y'all to know, you know. Why would this lady even know Sakina to tell Sakina that Rob was going to set her up or, you know, he been wanting to slice her, waiting to slice her or something? Why would this lady even know Sakina to even tell her this, right? Because allegedly, let's go back to the recording of the panel, right? She was a um, supporter of Brother Malcolm. But either way, how did you meet Sakina? Because Sakina was over there with Rob now. But you know so much about Rob, allegedly, right? But let's see. You were a supporter of Br Brother Malcolm, but you, Rob, fuck Rob, fuck them that away. They didn't took they took my badge and my gun. And I not part Justice Week anymore. And, and Shakina, me been mean to tell you why I've been waiting to slice you for a long time. Cause me and him talked about it. Yeah, me and him talked about it. It was a set up. <laughs> Watch how it play out though. That's how they did down over there. They did that to me too. Like what? <laughs> hey, is this right here? If, hey, I know this is crucial right here, man. Because why would that lady, that was Freddy Krueger now, she did a transformation, by the way. 
why would she know anything about Rob and Rob knowing? How does she know about all of that, y'all? Is what I'm saying. How does she know? You know, and and what's crazy that when the chat was going, like that's how it went. Twelve thirty six, it was her. Twelve forty one, it was her. Twelve forty eight, it was her. You see what I'm saying? This is how it went. This is exactly how it went. Like she just did all the fucking talking. That's crazy. All the fucking talking, and now that not me, and not me. Who, who the one that was her? <laughs> no, nah, motherfucker, that was your ass. <laughs> Waiting to, Sakina, he been waiting to swipe you. Like, why you ain't been tell Sakina that shit? That's what you was mad about. Because I told you, I like, bro, why you didn't been tell Sakina, though, man? You a shysty little motherfucker. You been knew that shit, but you waited till they sniped your ass and got rid of you to go tell. Y'all crazy, man. Now, you know, for real, though. All right, this might be for real, though. I want to show this right here because... After this individual docks me, ladies and gentlemen, she felt the need to go get my mother, man, from her Facebook page, put her in her community post, and not only on her channel, but on her Tasha Harris channel. Only a copycat would be so desperate, y'all. That's what I've been trying to tell y'all, man. This is my mother right here, man, you know? And the way she found out about my mother was when she docks my husband, she went to his Facebook page. Now, you're talking about a stalker or a harasser, y'all. Now, you could talk about all that boo ass shit about your daughter shit. That shit is whack. That shit dead. It's over with. Your daughter secure her channel page, whatever, on Facebook. So, it's nothing else there. But, however, when you went to my mother's Facebook page, you went and got her. And then you went as far as to put her name up in here, you know. And then what's so crazy about you is... Tasha Harris don't even know my mother. Not only that, but how would Tasha Harris get a picture of me with my husband that came from my mother's Facebook page? You feel me? And you're the only weird person that, you know, docks me that I'm aware of. But I don't know. You handed my address and information down to everybody. So, but either way, you can't get it away from you being Tasha Harris, though. That's the thing. Should Sharon be made aware of what her daughter has been doing on YouTube? What, exposing y'all? What, okay, so what you expect for my mother to do if she did find out that I was on, over here exposing you, motherfucker? What, what my mother going to do? Whoop my ass? Put me on punishment? No, see, listen. When I became an adult, my mother had no more punishment and shit for me. Now, you motherfuckers probably went off of that. But no, not on this end. Okay? Not on this end. <laughs> yeah. I had to show this shit, man. This girl put my mother on her community post. You feel me? Like, that's pure desperation. Do you see your mama in anything about the, the one video that your mama was on? Y'all took it. So why would you put my mother? Oh, I forgot. Copycat moves, huh? Only difference is you still got my mother on your shit. Hey, your mama ain't nowhere near my shit. That's, you know, I got something else for you, man. I got something else for you. Because y'all be doing like the most and shit. <laughs> Y'all be doing too fucking much, you feel me? Like, too goddamn much. And I just be like, man, do you know? <laughs> I don't even watch half you motherfuckers like that anymore. And I just, every day, I swear, it's just like a new day. But then here y'all go, making premieres. Because y'all learned how to do a premiere. So y'all decided to do the premiere on Karen King. And big mad, big mad about what, man? <laughs> There's nothing to be big mad about when dealing with y'all. Shit. This shit is pure laughter for real. <laughs> and the winner is Tasha Harris. Oh, yeah. You picked that name with no problem. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, she was subscribed to Tasha Harris. Okay? At three subscribers. All three of her channels were subscribed to Tasha Harris. But is she going to ever tell the people about that? How she was subscribed to the person? Huh? Is she? I'm just wondering if she ever gonna tell y'all the truth at some point in her not too near future. Hell, her nails was damn that dirty on this motherfucker. What the hell? You know what? Mm -mm. I, you know what? Whatever y'all say, if this what y'all support. Then kudos to y'all, man. You know y'all was talking about cottonmouth overbite over there and shit. She look like she got one of them shits too. And somebody got a picture of her with a hole up there. I don't know what the fuck that was about. Maybe they found the real country she's from up in that bitch. I don't know, but I'm just saying. You just never know. 
Yeah. Tasha Harris. <laughs> when Tasha Harris' name was written on all the little pieces of paper. Yeah, yeah. She just mad because I figured that shit out. That's what it was, man. She ain't gonna tell y'all that shit, but yeah, that's what happened. I figured that shit out, and she just wanted to know who was I working with at the time. Yeah. Well, can't tell y'all nothing because y'all. Mm-mm. Now, let's go back to bag down memory lane. Oh, and I know I can't get that part, so fuck that part. All right. So, well, anyway, let's go back down it anyway. All right. Let's go back down to where Bell Pepper knows, ladies and gentlemen. Realize, and I got a screenshot of her saying, What happened to you? You don't go lie no more. You're not going, no, bitch, I don't fuck with you no more, man. I told you that, bro. I already knew what time it was, man. Don't be mad at me because I know when to cut you bitches off, man. I give y'all that benefit of the doubt, and then y'all go crazy and shit. So anyway, I remember when I first found out about this Tasha Harris person bringing up my name, <laughs> and then um, I've been called you and Teray. Yeah, I said Ren. It's Ren, actually. Not that name. It's Ren. I was waiting on Bell Pepper knows to talk about uh oh Shelly that passed away allegedly. Guess they gave all the information to you know Rand, but whatever. So by who? Look look how fast they responded to each other, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. She said this, and then somebody said that, and then she already was like, look at that. They like right by each other. By who? Never heard that one. <laughs> the one that does bingo. Look, see, if you notice here, be hey, Bell Pepper knows didn't even have to say who. Y'all already know who started the trend for the bingo. You feel me? Y'all already knew. So look, Bell Pepper knows, and I ain't been saying nothing about her. Bell Pepper knows decided to say, fuck Donna Karen. That bitch just mad because I didn't call her ass back. Shit, ain't nobody thinking about that hoe, right? Yep, hoe. Ain't, now I'm a hoe. I'm a hoe, but, you know, according to you, you had a YouTube marriage, uh, body parts sent from here to there and shit like that, but I'm the hoe. <laughs> How you, you know, when black women, you know, I don't know what your nationality is. I don't know who the fuck you are, but anyway... When black women, for some reason, have an issue with each other, we be so quick to call each other a bitch, a hoe, or this or that. And you know what I mean? I remember in the beginning, I used to call you motherfuckers like good names and shit. I, I was like, wait a minute, hold the fuck on, man. These motherfuckers, <laughs> they don't deserve that type of treatment. Hell no. Yeah, so I was like, wow, a hoe? And then, look, this one's supposed to be in college, y'all. But the moment you end a sentence, this supposed to be capitalized. But she capitalized ain't. <laughs> they backwards. I don't know what fucking university that is. Bitch, you probably better stop getting high. Bitch, you need to focus. <laughs> Not just for you, but all you and all three of them. See, you and all three of them motherfuckers, right? Yeah. Ain't nobody thinking about that hoe, but y'all swear. Oh, it's hashtag cancel them all, but you motherfuckers still over here lurking. So, speaking of lurking, you know, let's talk about, you know, before I even had made a video, I was over here just in chill mode, you feel me, for like a whole week. Yeah, I'm going to get on this too. Yeah, I'm going to show this too. Yeah, but anyway, I did like maybe five, six videos. It was mo mostly about shopping and, you know, my house blog, look, what blog, whatever it is, you know, showing the people, whatever. And then to the point where my house got broke into. So here's what I'm saying. If it's hashtag cancel them all, that means that nobody should have been lying, talking about they got emails sent to them from me. They shouldn't have been saying nothing about, oh, her house got broken into and this and that and the third. It's like, so y'all say hashtag cancel them all. Y'all leaders are watching me. So that's leaving y'all up to watching me. Like she said, I got wind of what her video was about. No, you didn't get wind, motherfucker. You were here. 
Like, why do you constantly lie to your audience, man? Y'all be doing some throwed off ass shit, dog. She was in all like four, well, four or five of my fucking videos addressing four or five different videos. I'm like, bro, y'all don't see that this motherfucker is all over the place. Let's take a look at something else I just happened to look at. But but Tasha Harris was supposed to be me, or Tasha Harris was supposed to know me. Look at this shit. She told you to drop location like she really about to do something. Hmm. <laughs> she told Ugmo that. Ugmo dropped location and them hoes went and striked her page. <laughs> wow. This is crazy. You know, she gave you $500 and you turned to be turned out to be her, ain't it? That's funny. Y'all can do that shit, man. That's what's up. Yeah, I don't know a lot of people that, uh, you know, could do that. See, a lot of people didn't even know I was collecting screenshots. And I want to show this screenshot because it got something to do with Sassy, whoever that lady Sassy Rare Breed was. You know, why would that lady Tasha even know Sassy Rare Breed? You see what I'm saying? Let's read this uh paragraph. <laughs> You know, they known for that repetition and shit that they do. So let's take a look at this one. Uh, Sassy, do you see my question? I remember she was in another uh, YouTuber channel. Do you see me? Can you see me? Oh, I hear. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we see you. What's up? Shit. <laughs> so when I see this shit, Sassy, do you see my question? I was asking if you and Gway Goose are the same person. We said, I asked this because Ugmo made a video saying y'all are the same person. Look, the bitch didn't even spell person right. And she ended up getting a strike on it. And? Like, motherfuckers don't lose channels around here, man. It's crazy, ain't it? But that's what they do, man. I've been telling y'all that Tasha Harris is Ugmo. And don't, don't, what is this? Oh, when you dropped a picture of her bare ass mouth, she got one tooth. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, and look, y'all know that they was talking about Rob. So if she say, I don't use that account anymore. I'm not over there anymore. Then she's talking about Rob. And another thing is all the like videos for Tasha Harris was for was Ugmo, ladies and gentlemen. Come on now. Come on now. That was even crazy. So what did she do after I debunked that or told the people that? She went ahead to shit. That's what she went and did. What she do bets, hide stuff. And I helped her to learn how to hide shit. Because at one point, the girl was careless. I'm helping her to learn what she's learning in today's day. Why do y'all think she went and learned how to get banners done on her shit and all of this and that? Come on, man. She's a copycatter. That's what she do. <laughs> That's crazy, man. I don't, you know, but this is what y'all do, man. You know, see what is this? She just mad because I was talking about some other shit. You know, the girl be coming back from some shit. She watched one of my videos from last night and decided she'll go, you know, get her shit together and come and do a video on some shit. Like, girl, if your last man daughter baby mama whatever she is got raped or something that ain't even for the people to know and another thing you're talking about somebody stalking somebody you're putting their information out there nobody needed to know that that little girl got raped and now she's pregnant what do you think your daughter got to deal with so a baby that's not even hers you look stupid telling the people that information that's what you get you ain't got the nerve to be talking about some that's some kid porn no nah, motherfucker don't play with me with that and then here's your um hey can you go over there and address the people about your mother's gofundme that you tried to have up there that you tried to say your auntie told you to start or whatever <clears throat> 17 people you raised 611 dollars out of five thousand. this is how you know stuff like this is a scheme your mother was already deceased eight months 17 people in eight months and y'all tried to act like y'all didn't know to go cancel that go find me out get people back their monies or keep it or cash out or whatever the case was y'all decided to try to keep it up there had i never exposed you on it you would have still had this go find me available you see what i'm saying 
So tell the people the truth behind that. If it wasn't for me, this GoFundMe would still be floating, just like false seekers GoFundMe over there scamming and scheming the people for money. That's a damn shame, man. That is a damn shame. Oh, okay. Well, hey, I'm just I'm seeing what's over here, man. Give y'all everything that's over here for now. And then I'll go on my 2.0 and get some more shit that I've accumulated. You know, since I've been over here, that's what I'll do. And yeah, we're gonna have to wrap that up on another day. So I gotta get out of Dodge, y'all. But y'all be easy, man. I'm out.